when I first went to your page, when I'm first like doing my research, seeing who is mm -hmm. this honest youth pastor, one of the first things that I noticed was your chart art. And it was something that I've never seen on any other page. At first I was so confused, like, what is this? Does this guy just put up like doodles? Like, but then I started to realize, mm -hmm. okay, this is like followers, um, you know, that, that comes from like week to week. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason why you, I mean, because you're doing these like almost weekly. It's supposed to be every Tuesday if I remember. Okay. So is there a reason why these exist? And, and is there a reason why you see like, you know, the, the peaks and the valleys? So especially online with pages like mine, which I mean, hopefully that story that we just went through lets people know, like this was never the goal was mm -hmm. an accident but when you get to a certain point like it can get in your head where you're like oh no now i've got to grow this bigger i've got to do this better like i can't lose people because i have influence which that's funny but <laughs> um it's one of those things where i ch i do it because instagram specifically gives that to like i don't i mine's a creator page i don't know whoever who else has it but i do it as like a haha -ha, instagram i don't care because mm -hmm. the whole reason that charts there the whole reason all the analytics are there is to be like all right I mean, the whole point, some Instagram pages exist is to teach you how to grow that. And I do that as sort of a ha ha Instagram. I don't care. Like you, I don't post to make, to grow this thing. I don't post to make people like come here, come to my little echo chamber and we'll all pat each other's heads. <laughs> like the, the reason I do that is to make people like to help people realize one, I don't care if you stay or go, like, I hope you stay for the conversation, but if you don't, you don't, that's on you. But also to like, to get people in their head, like, don't be obsessed with those numbers. That's not the, like, if that's why you're doing it, you are going to drive yourself crazy. Now, maybe not everybody. There's people's that's whole jobs is to grow people's pages. Good on you. You make some money doing that. Go get, what do the kids say? Get the bag. But, <laughs> but that like, I feel like, if, if I, if my focus was so on like grow the numbers one, I couldn't talk about half the stuff I talk about. It just wouldn't work Two, I'd be so in my head all the time. And so devastated if people left that I, I mean, I would internalize it. I know my personality. I would be, I, I, I just stay in bed all day <laughs> and I just like, no one loves me. Um, <laughs> and that's, that's how I would be. So like, that's my way of being like, Hey, this doesn't matter. Mm. This doesn't matter. It, do, it doesn't. And I know like that boggles some people's minds. Like there's people that I, because of the page size that like DM me and ask, you know, advice and all this other stuff. I'm just like, just do what you love. Like if, if you're doing this to grow it, and this applies to ministry too, if you're trying to become the best youth pastor or the best pastor with the biggest church and the best messages, you're going to fail. It's going to be in your head. You're going to be in your head so much that it's going to become, even if you don't want it to be about you, it's going to be about you. So there's people I know that won't post stuff because like, oh, we're going to lose followers. Mm. Okay. So you're not going to post about something that is very important because you're scared about what somebody else is going to say, which I know by the way is total trash because you'll post about this thing, but you won't post about, you know, this other thing, or you'll only post about, and this is going to be on a soapbox for a second. There will people that will only post about abortion, for example, if they're paid to do it, which is very annoying to me because what, what you're telling people is like, I'm for sale. Like I'll post about important topics if I'm compensated for it. And at that point, I'm like, my, my faith in what you actually believe is pretty shallow at this point. So, I mean, that, that's the, to get back to your major question and get off my soapbox for a second. Like if, if you're so focused on your numbers, like I get why people do it because this is some people's total income. It's not mine. Um, I get why people are scared about it. But if you let that become the driving factor, I guarantee you, your message is going to be at some point messed with because now you're like, oh no, I'm not going to make that hundred dollars, that $200 that, you know, I'm going to lose money if I say this or if I talk about this or if I even, if I go on somebody's, I mean, there's people's podcasts that I've been on before that are like, why did you go on their podcast? I want to have a conversation with them. Well, they don't agree with you. I don't care if they agree with me. I mean, we had a conversation and I think, you know, you start modifying your behavior if you let that be the thing that drives you. So the follower charts are just me just giving the ha ha Instagram. I don't care. 
I don't care. And hopefully passing that on to somebody else. Hey y'all, we hope you loved this conversation. Here at Young Married Christian, we are on a mission to see a gospel-centered home made available for every single child in the foster care system. There are 400,000 kids in the foster care system and there are 400,000 churches in America. Wow. That is crazy. This is absolutely a solvable problem, and we want to be a part of it. If you want to join us in that mission, text the word FREEDOM to 833-370-1610. 833-370-1610. 833-370-1610. And another thing you can do that is really helpful is to smash the like button on this video. Smash it like Satan's face. Crush it like it's Lucifer's head. It really helps us a ton. So smash that like button, subscribe to this channel. That's it. <laughs> smash the like button on this video.